you deal with reptilians in a lot of your work. Uh, what's your What's your take on them? Well, um, I believe the reptilian hindbrain is more or less uh, an acceptable description for the uh, rear uh, cerebrum's organelles or their suborgans uh, because it occurs even in reptiles. It's basically what a reptile's brain looks like is the back portion of our own brains. So when one is, uh, when a human, uh, when a person is using these parts of their brain more than their forebrain or their midbrain, uh, they're acting in a reptilian type of fashion and they're thinking in a reptilian type of fashion. Uh, the people who, you know, kind of hide in that or cloak themselves in that, uh, that sensation of fear versus love being the ultimate uh, lifeline of, you know, those are the only two options that they see because that's their binary and they think in a simpler format of, of reality than mammals or people. Um, these people are in a sense de-evolving uh, even now from being the complete mammals and the complete human beings that they could be. So in the future, what I believe will happen in one possible future is that the people who are currently expressing this reptilianist or reptilianism uh, now, this, this trait of being uh, fear driven and uh, curious about other emotions, but unable to understand them, uh, these people will eventually uh, create a subspecies of humanity uh, that will itself continue to evolve as well. So the people that are more or less reptilians now will eventually their subspecies group uh, will become more like avians or birds uh, in some format, uh, perhaps like the angels are depicted, the cherubim are depicted in ancient art uh, with wings symbolically. Uh, and other subspecies of humanity will also form uh, along with them, which will be more mammalian uh, or more insectoid even uh, as they would go up or down the evolutionary uh, ladder. And then this will form a kind of class structure or class system and a social hierarchy between these different groups of what I've called animal factions. Uh, or animalistic factions. This entire uh, description of reality is what I refer to as the worst future world line of three possible future world lines and the better one being a return to Atlantean democracy. If we continue to follow in the direction of the protocols, uh, then we'll end up de-evolving into uh, animalistic subspecies and uh, if we follow Atlantean democracy or any other alternative uh, to the protocols, uh, then we'll end up in a better world line in the future and uh, things will continue to evolve and progress upward.